to firearm related crimes has seen a renewed attempt to tighten gun control in South Africa. The ANC says that it wants to review legislation to limit access to guns that end up in the wrong hands. Safa says that the Safa says the uh, focus should be on illegal unlicensed firearms. The South African Gun Owners Association says that the problem is not with any law, rather with enforcement. High profile murders are just the tip of the iceberg. Ordinary citizens deal with gun violence every day. The ANC suggests tightening the Firearms Control Act and reviving community crime fighting structures. If you are you are a gun owner, you are, assume, you are assumed to be a reasonable person. A reasonable person in terms of the ownership of a gun can for some reason not know where the weapon finds itself and then that weapon commits and take a life. Technical amendments to the Act are on the Minister's table and will be tabled early next year. We will need to take advantage of that to also look at all other gaps that necessarily can be identified in other loopholes that would have to be closed around the issue of a firearm control, for an example. At Mahiwa's memorial, Safa reiterated its call for action against unlicensed and illegal firearms. The South African Football Association uh, has made a proposal that we should charter the Senzo Mahiwe gun law and that gun law must take all the unlicensed and illegal firearms off the streets and we must take those guns to the furnace and build a statue for Senzo Mohiwa. But gun owners say the act is already very strict and it provides for harsh sentences for gun negligence. Saga says the culprits are not lawful gun owners but the outlaws with guns. The DA also raised the issue of non-enforcement of legislation and the high number of police firearms being lost. Abra Barbia, SABC News, Parliament. Return